It was made very clear at the beginning of this process that this bipartisan deal, if it even survives the Senate, the only chance that it has at passing the House is if the House passes the Senate bill and if the Senate passes the House bill, which is largely in reconciliation. And so we can't just have one body driving the entire legislative agenda for the country and frankly 20 senators that within that one body. And so we need a reconciliation bill if this bipartisan bill is going to if we want this bipartisan bill to pass. And if the Senate does not pass the reconciliation bill, we will uphold our end of the bargain and not pass the bipartisan bill until we get all of these investments in.